Lord, my God, for another opportunity the Almighty God has given to me to come and speak with you here on this platform. I know the Lord has prepared you for what He has for you today. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will minister life to you in the mighty name of Jesus. By the grace of God today, I want to share with you what I call the components of the anointing. You see, as a Christian, many of us we pray for God anointing over our lives. As a minister of the gospel, we need the anointing of God. And the way somebody don't know what he's looking for, when you find that thing, you will not even know this is what you have been looking for. Now let's look at the Bible. Jesus is our perfect example. In John, I mean in Acts of Apostles chapter 10, verse 38, the Bible says how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. You could see from this scripture that God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. So when you look at the anointing, as I told you the other time that the anointing is the presence of God with a believer that will empower that believer to fulfill his divine mandate. So when God anoints Jesus, the Bible says he anointed them with the Holy Ghost and with power. So inside of the anointing, we have the Holy Spirit who is the Spirit of God. Then we have the power of God. Remember, when Jesus was anointed at River Jordan, the Bible says the Spirit of God came upon him. That was during his baptism. His anointing came that day. God's Spirit came upon him. And the Bible says he went in the fullness of the power of the Holy Spirit into the wilderness. The Holy Spirit led him into the wilderness. And after spending 40 days there, the Bible says he returned in the fullness of the power of the Spirit. So in the anointing, we find the Spirit of God. We find the power of God. And as a believer, these are the two major things we need to fulfill mandate. David, when he was anointed to be the king, the Bible says, when Samuel poured the oil upon him, he said the Spirit of God came upon him from that day forward, and he went to Ramah. So, the Spirit of God came with the anointing, and you remember that evil spirit was tormenting Saul. So, anytime David appeared before Saul, while ministering, then the power of God will begin to flow, and will drive out the demons that were afflicting King Saul. So, in the anointing, we have the Spirit of God. We have the power of God. Anything short of this is not God's anointing. People can demonstrate power, but are you demonstrating it by the Spirit of God? So, whatever you do that is not done by God's Spirit and God's power is not done by His anointing. Because in the anointing, you have God's Spirit, you have God's power. These are the components, these are the things God put in there. And that's what, that's what we call anointing. So as a minister of the gospel, as a Christian, as a believer, God requires you to be anointed so as to fulfill the mandate of God for your life. But this anointing can only come from God. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. So this anointing is what God gives. He gives him in form of his spirit and his power so that you can be led by the Spirit, so that you can do that which God has called you to do by the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus told his disciples, said, don't leave Jerusalem until thou art endured with power from on high. What he was telling you is this, don't leave that place until you are anointed. So you need this anointing to fill ministry, to fill mandate, to succeed in life. You need God's presence in your life. You need his power. His presence will direct you. His power will enable you. I pray the Almighty God will help you and get to understanding in the name of Jesus. To receive the anointing, you must pray to God that God should anoint you. And when you are anointed, whatever you do will be for the glory of the Lord. May God help you in Jesus' name. By God's grace, we still continue on this station next time. Until then, continue to walk in the victory of the cross. In the name of Jesus, Amen. i
Thank you.